Tracy Tinkley and this is The Good Instructor. Today's topic is how to effectively organize your group swim lessons so that every participant is actively involved throughout the entire class. One of the comments that we get a lot from Learn to Swim participants and their parents is, my kid didn't get enough time practicing the skill or I noticed that they spent a lot of time hanging on the wall. So some of the things that you can do as an instructor is keep your kiddos engaged with activities on the wall, but even better, organizing your activities, your skills, and the things that you're doing in class so that more than one participant can be challenged and try at a time. Let's take a look at a few different examples of how you can keep all of your Learn to Swim participants engaged in a group lesson setting.